All right, all right, all right. Here we are. Today we're gonna have some fun. I am in good spirits. I'm really happy about the last video that I posted. It took me forever to do. <laughs> uh, this is what I'm learning. It takes forever. You think, oh, you're just gonna record it and you're gonna edit it in like a day and then you're just gonna export it and put it up. No, wrong. Actually, I spent a fucking week editing it, trying to chop it down to a, a, a manageable length, having tons of exporting errors with iPhone, etc. Blah, 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 blah. Forever, man. And it was not a lot of fun. Well, I mean, it was fun to share it. But uh, that was that was grueling and if I'm gonna wanna do this uh, in a sustainable way and I'm gonna have it have value for myself and others, I'm gonna have to find a better method to do this. So today we're just gonna have some fun. I, cafecito, check. It's important to have this. <clears throat> we need an intro, man. This thing is like, all right, you know, <laughs> it just starts and then I'm just like telling you what's going on. So today I think I wanna try to shoot like a cool, snazzy intro, you know, the YouTubers, the real YouTubers out there have fancy edits and shit and like dope music. Here's the problem. I don't have a fancy camera and I don't have a whole lot of time, cool lenses, you know, I'd love to do the, the coffee montage thing and maybe I'll do that eventually. I'm, I'm not above it, <laughs> but uh, all I got is this GoPro that I'm recording on and an old Canon, um, it's not that old, it's a, it's a, what the fuck is it, let's see. It's a US 5D Mark III. It's kind of old. Here comes the dog. Clack, 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 you hear him walk. Uh, it's kind of old and it's not great for video, but I do have a nice prime lens on it, a 50 mil. So, you know, I want to get better at my photography chops. And one of the things that people out there say is, you know, just make it interesting. You don't need to have an interesting setup or interesting lights. Just get creative and have fun with it. So today we're gonna have fun with this camera. It only shoots at 1080p. So is this the best idea for my for my for my process? I don't know, but I just want to try it out and do a fun edit. And my big goal today is: can I shoot this video and export it and post it by the end of today? We'll find out. I'm, I'm basically sure that that's not going to happen, but I'm going to try. I'm going to give it an honest shot. So yeah, that's all I want to do today. I'm just going to make a cool little intro and that's it. Cool. Here's the deal. I want it to be representative. I want it to be loose enough. So I'm just gonna shoot about the things that I'm about right now. I'm making music. I'm doing a lot of drawings. I don't have a big plan here. I'm, I'm planning as I'm telling you this. I think maybe I'll grab my sketchbooks and put them on the table and try to do cool shots of that. I'll try to get cool B-roll of my piano. Not even a fancy piano. That one over there, there, there. And fucking, I don't know, I'll record my dog. Now, here's another thing. I'm gonna need a song. And <laughs> me being me, uh, I being I, me being myself, will probably need to just go and download like a stock track that I could put on the internet, but it'd be a lot more fun if I could just compose a little beat, cool little thing on my iPad and on my little mini lab, and then put it, it, sort of time my edit to it. So that's the ambition, that's the long, the, the, the sort of stretch goal. I'm already blowing up the scope here, but if nothing else, I'll just go ahead and put a little song to it, edit to that, and then later maybe we'll make another video about making the beat. I don't know. I'm just kind of swinging, uh, kind of winging it today. So uh, yeah, let's do this. Tools, what do I have? The Canon, which I told you about. It's got a Sigma 50 mil lens on it. Don't leave your cameras without their cap on. Somebody out there is gonna be angry about that. Does that even work? I don't even know. I'm just fucking around. But anyway, I have this nice 50, 50 mil, which will probably create some cool nifty effects. So I intend to use that. I'm not feeling professional here. Uh, all right. Got the Canon. What else? I got this Peak Design tripod. Um, kind of fancy, honestly. You know, 
uh, I'm not, I don't know how steady my hand is, so maybe I can make good use of my nice fancy tripod. I use it to station shots or some overhead stuff, it retracts and it does, you know, all that good, good, good stuff that tripods do. So what else do I have? Um, I have my mini lab, that over here, which I can use to record music. Um, what else do I have? I have an iPhone. I don't know, and I have an iPad. I can. I also have some cool music apps on this. Maybe I'll use that to make the beat. Maybe I'll record myself while I make the beat and I'll kind of do all of it all at once. We'll fucking see. It sounds real ambitious. And lastly, <clears throat> I have my film camera, the Olympus OM-1, which I bought uh, in Japan a couple of years ago while traveling. Don't think I can do anything with this uh, for the actual purposes of the video. Uh, maybe I could get some cool B-roll of it. Maybe I can fidget around with it and do some close-up shots. Because again, from what I see, what I gather from people who make their cool little intros is they'll just shoot anything. So this is just for fun. And I'll get to practice my chops, my skills. And oh yeah, I have my pencils and pens and drawing kit, my sketchbooks, which hopefully will provide uh, some interesting, uh, cool, little shots I can I can use, so maybe, maybe I could flip through them. That's the plan, I got the tools, I got the plan in my head, it's time to go shooting and edit this video together and put an intro to my channel, so let's get it. talk about framing elements put stuff around and give context to what you're doing in your shot right so that's all I'm trying to do put stuff in the scene that makes it feel like like there's a story here because there is a story I'm trying to tell my story find ways to compress my experiences into a thing that I can share with others there's no shame in staging things it doesn't have to be pretentious or or fake just because you're telling a story I think there's something about intentionality that can feel a little bit like um, too self-aware, especially if you're super anxious like me. But to be frank, it's kind of fun. It's kind of fun to just try to say something and do so with intention. So that's the resistance that I'm battling in my head right now. Like this is so weird and clunky that you're trying to tell a story at a desk. But that's kind of cool, right? At the same time, yeah, I'm, I'm trying to in create entire worlds from my desktop. There's something magical about that. throwing things into the scene. Feeling like I got a little stuck there. I think it's time to try something a little different. It's like I did the same shot a million times. The point is, is I'm trying to get better at creatively composing shots and I'm making something with very little. So, you know, it's stretching my imagination. It's forcing me to think differently and it's forcing me to think about cameras. I want to make films at some point and I need a lot of camera time in order to do that, right? So I could see shots and I've looked at film for a very long time and been like, yeah, I know what's going on in that film or how they compose that shot. But when you're trying to operate the camera, very different vibe, you know? And again, me being me, I don't want to just get somebody to do the camera work, although I probably would end up doing so, but I want to be able to learn how to do it so that I could do it myself or I could have a more meaningful conversation with somebody when they're operating a camera. And that's the point for me. That's the point of integrating so many different practices into one place it makes you more capable of understanding intimately the thing that you're making whatever that thing is you know so that's kind of my thing sometimes talking to the camera helps me think out loud 
as opposed to getting stuck inside my mind soup. So what am I what am I doing here? Like I got I got shots of my sketchbook from above and kind of eye level. I wanna tell you we do something else. Just like whoop. progression for this beat and so I've been a little bit out of touch with my music so that's what we're doing just that just those two chord progressions actually could be pretty good for a beat starting to evaporate and the thing that always happens is happening which is uh, I'm starting to get caught into a little rabbit hole I started shooting a bunch of footage being creative with the camera and then I got into like I'm gonna record some music and then it became like I'm gonna explore that beat and then it became like I don't want to do this anymore <laughs> so I'm gonna stick to my earlier plan I'm just in visuals mode and maybe I'll be in recording and music mode another day this is one of the challenges that I face all the time with my sort of multidisciplinary thing. It's like, I can get really good into one vibe, but being flexible enough to just like jump from photo mode to video mode, to music recording mode, to drawing mode, that transitional space takes time and there's a lot of warming up. And one of my big pursuits in life is to be able to just boom, turn it on and go. And that's why I'm doing this thing. Yeah. Let's make an executive decision right now. You and me, you're my, you're my producer here, that we're not gonna make music today. We're gonna focus on visual arts, just making cool montage. Before I do that, time for a snack. Time to get that energy back. Ooh. Venezuelan snacks. They're um, hazelnut, chocolate, carbohydrate, sugar, goodness. Mm. I've been eating that shit since I was like a little kid. It's so good. All right, all right, snacks are on point. Also got a different shirt on. You wanna guess why? Yeah, that's right. It's been a fucking week again. <laughs> I spent a lot of that time editing all the video that you've seen up until now. Are you surprised? I'm not surprised either. Honestly, I told me so. I knew that I was not gonna get that done in a, in a single day, but the dream was good. The aspiration was good. I'm happy that I tried. Um, I learned a lot. I learned a lot about file management, limitations of my camera. A lot of the footage is frankly a little bit blurry and very shaky. And I have a lot to learn about uh, that camera. It's also probably time for me to get like a camera upgrade because if I want to shoot other fancy stuff outside of the journal vlog style, it's going to behoove me to spend on some gear. Even though I took a week, I actually was having a lot of fun and I learned a lot. So basically I've picked out a song. It has the vibe that I was looking for. It also sounds a lot like the same music I was listening to while I was shooting, which was kind of like in the same mood, which is kind of interesting. And what I'm looking for is a track that has enough kicks and punches that I can cut to that it has energy, but also we only have about 20 seconds of time to kind of, to have an opening. So. It's kind of tricky. I spent a lot of time looking for a lot of different songs or listening to a lot of different songs and thinking a lot about like, how would I want it to feel? But ultimately, if I'm gonna make another video later, actually addressing making the song, I felt that it would just be better to find something that has a nice 20 second slice and then just edit to that. So here's a song that I picked. Let's check it out. Yeah. 
I like that, like those little jingles. Um, that feels pretty cool. Da, da, da. I, I like that too. It's like a, I could cut to that, like, you know. I could I could totally see myself cutting between angles for that, right? Yeah. You know, it has a higher energy, like hi hats and stuff. There's that thing again. So I picked it because in a really small period of time, it has that thing that I was talking about. There's little punches, little things I could cut to. So now let's check out the footage that I have, right? Ready for this? What do we have? Bunch of shots from overhead, really shaky stuff. Just me holding the camera and um, focus to unfocus look mirror work like me setting up the camera in front of a mirror and kind of looking at it me holding the hat up to the camera a lot of corner work so i put the camera pointing down at a corner that's what i was showing you earlier throwing those watercolors into the scene uh, these are probably more usable because they're they're more stable shots uh, they don't have that shakiness as much because i was using the tripod so thank you tripod uh, my, my one good piece of equipment <laughs> uh, we're making good use of that oh yeah all these cool shots with my olympus on one again bless for a prop literally just a prop uh, just because it's an aesthetic object and i think interspersed in like a small short quick cut that'll be that'll be a cool look sketchbooks a lot of sketchbook shots on the table and me doing all that panning work uh all this piano footage which you know, it's an energy. It, it adds variety to the to the mix. There's this cool one from overhead where I'm playing those chords and and I have some artwork that I was using as inspiration. Like I said, a lot of it is blurry, shaky, a little bit difficult, but here's the thing. We're gonna trust the movie magic. A previous version of me would have been like, let's just not, like a board mission, let's not even do this thing until we have a better footage and a better camera. But that's not the vibe right now. I'm really committed to the mission of just like getting something done and learning something so that I can then uh, actually figure out what it is that I value out of a camera, what it is that I value out of a cool edit, what it is that I actually want to do in the future. So we're going to stick to the footage and we're going to make it work. Once I get the edit going and I have the beat happening, that all of that will come together into something that feels good enough to put as, a, as an intro to my, to, my, to my channel for a little while. So yeah, let's get into this editing process. We got the song, we got the footage. Here comes my first stab at slicing this together and seeing how it looks. You ready? Here we go. this is pretty sweet what I did is I, I put the track down I'm sure this is a technique that people do I feel like I just discovered this but I'm sure people do this but I listen to it and I just use markers to mark exactly the points where I would cut so I'm listening to the song and I'm just kind of pressing the key and it drops a little thing where where that where when I press the key so it's like so that's kind of what I'm doing like I just hitting the mark where I think I want to change the pacing and then I could kind of fit the clips into it. Sure, this is a, a standard montage technique, but it's kind of cool to run into these things on your own because then you're like, oh, it feels like a really uh, personal learning experience when you kind of get into those things. I bet you if I'd looked up a video on how to make a montage, I would have found that, but here we are. Let's, uh, let's break it down. I want to kind of show you what I was thinking about when I was doing it. And then after that, I think the thing needs a little bit of color correction and I think it needs a better ending, right? Because it kind of ends and it just kind of cuts cut dead and we kind of need to fade the track or, or maybe get one of the chords to just keep playing at the end so we just kind of hear it and then kind of ease out with it. But before we get to that part, let me just kind of show you what I was doing, what I was thinking when I made, when I made this. It was a lot of fun, so yeah, let's do this. Uh, first of all, like I said, I was cutting to the beat and to the snare, so when you listen to the whole thing, you could kind of hear how it's cutting on the kicks and on the snares. 
And that was really, really useful to me because it sets up a rhythm and a timing to it. And so the length of the shots kind of like happen. So check it out. Yeah, and then at the end, I, I instead I, I changed it up, right? And I started cutting on that weird sort of stringy sound like wah, 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 to kind of like subvert the expectation. So you don't want to always do the same thing because then as we kind of get into the rhythm, you kind of get used to it. And so some of the shots, I let them run longer and didn't cut on the beat. And, and other ones, I did cut on the beat. And I just was kind of feeling it out. Here's another thing that was really cool about this edit that I really enjoyed is it felt like I could kind of start slow and it kind of speeds up. Like I said way earlier, right? Like we're telling a story here and I, I like the idea of using like the setup shots. It's almost chronological. It's like I'm, I'm setting up, I'm setting up my camera and I'm, you know, I have all my gear laid out and then it's like we're flipping through sketchbooks and we're throwing around watercolors and we're kind of seeing the whole mess afterwards. That's, that's kind of the narrative. I'm pretty happy with that. It kind of says it kind of says everything that I wanted to say, right? I'm like I'm about photography, I'm about music, I'm about watercolors, painting, drawing. It's happening in 30 seconds. So, uh, so now pay attention this time not just to the rhythm and pacing, but to the length of the shots. I really enjoyed that part. So I start out slow, one deadpan shot, me fixing up my little hat, and then it just picks up right away. Slow, da da da, super fast. And then a really long one. Another really long one. And now we pick up again. Right? So we pick up again here with the camera. It's like, it's like slow, fast, fast, slow, super fast. Slow, but there's slow, but there's a lot going on in this one. It's like you're flipping through through pages, right? Slow, and now this this shot introduces the concept of the camera, right? So now it's like we're we're looking at the camera, and we're gonna do a bunch of handling with the camera. So the subject matter didn't change, which kind of helps you kind of understand what's going on in such a short period of time. I mean, the the shot is like seconds. I mean, hardly even seconds. And so if I change the content too much, you kind of like can't tell what's going on. It kind of feels like crazy. So that's kind of why I did that. So it's kind of like. camera and then there's like a handling of the camera almost as if you picked it up and we're gonna put it up to your face and then it's like sketchbook sketchbook and then a really long one to kind of show you things in context I kind of like this last one as like a as like a uh, sort of like it's it's after the creative session and there's just like a mess right uh, so yeah I don't know I thought that was kind of fun one last thought that I want to say about this is I was using the black frames to kind of use them as palette cleansers. So you introduce a concept and then on a cut, you leave a blank space to kind of let your mind process like, what did I just see? And then it picks up again. So like if it was 30 seconds of every single cut, cut like the shots have a content, I think that would be really exhausting. So yeah, so check it out one last time. Black, right? Every single time there's like nothing, it's like I'm letting you kind of process it, right? I felt pretty clever with that watercolor thing where like I threw a bunch of them down and I just went da, 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 and like cut out a bunch of space so you kind of just see it build up. Uh, here's the honest truth. All the footage is, like I said before, shaky, blurry. Uh, doesn't look great in many shots, but when you take them a little tidbit, like I'm pretty happy with this. I'm 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 not um not mad about it. I mean, for like a a thing that I did in in a relatively short amount of time, and that's my first time doing it, I feel pretty good. So, uh, yeah. I also really like the sound, this whoosh, and it, and I feel like it kind of went with the ruffling of the of the sketchbook, like.
feel like that sound is moving and it's like a, it's like fading or moving and so I kind of wanted the motions to do that and the same is true here with the piano it goes da -da 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 -da. like it felt like key I mean it, it is keys right it's like a little arpeggio of keys and so showing keys was like I I kind of started piecing it together that way and I just want to name I didn't do this linearly I kind of just found the key moments the and I was like, okay, I'm going to show the keyboard there. And then in the second one, I'm going to show the camera twisting. And so, you know, this one goes. And later, there's another one here. Same thing, you hear it again. And both of those, I felt like the rhythm of that movement could be a part of the, of the shot. And so once I kind of laid that down, I was like, okay, and then in between, this is kind of what I'm gonna say about that. Now I'm just gonna do a little bit of color correction uh, and a little bit of fixing up the timing of the sound and we'll have our final. And that's it, that's what we got, all right? Okay, one last take of this and then we'll be done. Here we go. That's all I'm gonna be doing with this thing. I'm just gonna put it down and call it a day. The footage is a little less warm and also I was able to fade out that ending and uh, I'm pretty happy with it. I mean, this was just an exercise, having fun in the future. I'll probably get into color correction. I'll get into making my own beat and evolving the thing, but it kind of says what it needs to say. It kind of represents where I'm currently at with this uh, little journey. Yeah, uh, I really enjoyed making this thing. I hope you did as well. Again, my goal is to show the creative process and the messiness and how much fun it can really be. And um, I think we did that today. So stay tuned for the next video. I hope you had a lot of fun and please tell me what you thought. See you on the next one. Peace.